Hey guys, it's Chris Sailors with Gregor Marine in Destin, Florida. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you this 2021 Regulator 31. Uh, a couple awesome new features for 2021 I'm gonna show you. Let's go check it out. With this particular boat, we got the windlass. Uh, it's a Lumar stainless steel claw anchor on there. Regulator does all chain road on it. Uh, this is the white hauled boat. On the back of this thing, new for 2021, Yamaha 425s, the XTOs. These motors will push this boat 63 miles an hour. That is the fastest boat in Regulator's fleet. They're massive, they're beast. I'm 6'1", for reference. They're really tall, they're huge motors, steering integrated into them. Uh, that cleans up the bilge. You get all the pumps out of your bilge on the regulator. I'll show you that here shortly. Uh, awesome motors, real torquey, uh, push the boat 64 miles an hour. Uh, awesome new upgrade to the 2021 regulator. Let's climb aboard. All right, coming up, I'll show you the door the dive door here it is hand finished all the way around there's no covering on that a lot of manufacturers will put a plate there to to hide unfinished edges there regulator hand finishes that one of the top tier qualities about regulator uh, fit and finish there come up here new for 2021 mezzanine seating it's a spot to ride right here hang out ride fold down cup holders fold down armrest down on the bottom, you got pull out foot rest there. So use it, put it up <clears throat> real easy. A little quick release on it, put it up. Show you the rest of the leaning post here. You got tackle storage, Plano tackle boxes, drawers down here. Plenty of room to put tackle. I'm gonna flip you around, show you some stuff on the transom now pull out bench on heavy duty stainless steel hardware. Another great spot to ride. Also a great spot, you're offshore, it's a little rocky. You can get to all your tackle. You can sit here, build tackle while you're riding out or sitting at the spot. Got Hailmaster holding you up. Uh, you don't have to worry about holding the boat up. Sit here and build your tackle. Uh, fold this up, show you a couple more things. There's tackle on both sides, more Plano boxes over here as well in the transom bulkhead you've got cockpit engine flushes you hook your garden hose up to these they flush the motor out don't have to climb back there and mess with the ports on the motor anymore there is a, a freshwater shower back here that you can access right here fresh water getting in on and off the boat there gets salt water off of you you got a fish box and a live well built into the transom uh, just just solid full height transom so when you are in rough seas there's no water coming up on the back of the boat. Bring you around to the helm, show you some things. Front of the leaning post first, you got bolster seating, you got more fold down cup holders on this side. You got an individual fold down foot rest uh, for driver and passenger. Uh, turn around in the actual helm here. All right, at the helm, we've got twin Garmin 8616 XSVs. These are the most up-to-date units. They have the displays. You can see them with polarized sunglasses on. The sun is shining on this port side screen right now. I can see it just fine. Uh, they're real fast, they're real responsive. There's everything on them. You can do almost anything on these. You can even hook your phone up, watch a football game on Saturday when you're on the water, uh, connect the video to it. Uh, the Fusion Stereo is new. It's the Apollo series. It is actually a touch screen system. It looks really good with the glassed in bridge here uh, with your Garmin units and that. Latest and greatest in the audio world and in the marine industry is that Fusion unit right there come down here we've got the Yamaha CL5 display this thing's real easy to use with the swipe you can get over to your settings real easy I think it's not near as complicated as the older CL7 unit come to the right here you've got 
a Yamaha autopilot system set up few buttons there uh, you can adjust your autopilot with a quick press of a button if you need to change your steering course there you're heading a little bit you can do that uh, without having to go through a screen setting or uh, autopilot screen move over here we've got the Yamaha Hellmaster joystick this is the new EX joystick uh, it feels real good and it's it's shaped so it doesn't slip it's easy to hold on to it's also got drift point, stay point, and fish point. So you've got three modes that you can get to with the push of a button. The old style you used to have to change something in the CL7 and then come back and short press or long press on the joystick. So made a little simpler to use, easier to get to. The new Yamaha Binnacle, same thing, feels good. There's more controls that are easier to get to. Your speed control is on the side of the Binnacle. The buttons on the bottom are angled more so that you can see them when you're in the helm seat. They're, the other ones were kind of up under it, a little tougher to see. If you come over, you got a tilt helm, Edson steering wheel with the power knob. We move over here, we've got an inductive cell phone charger. You can put your cell phone right here and charge it. This thing's stout enough to put your phone there as well and be running in a sea and your phone's not going to go anywhere. Real cool feature for new 2021, electronic antenna mounts. You press a button, your antennas go up. Press a button again, antennas go down. Don't have to jump on the gunnel, get up there, fight the antenna mount, put the antenna up. Uh, real simple, push a button, antennas up, push a button, antennas down. Same thing with the sure shade. Press the button and out goes your aft sunshade. That'll continue out until it gets out. There's nothing you have to do to stop it. I am going to stop it, press the button, and stop it there. Press the button and bring it back in. Nothing to it. So that's kind of your helm of the Regulator 31. You do have a glove compartment here with the USB in it. You've got some storage down below to stick some, stick some items. Come check out the console. Big roomy step-down-in console. Uh, I'm 6'1", can get down in there and not bang my head on the roof. Uh, you've got dedicated rod storage down there. Your battery switches are down there, so you can lock this door and turn the batteries off, and nobody can get to the boat. Checking the console out, we'll come around and look at the front of the console. Uh, you've got a three-sided enclosure all the way around, a vented windshield. That again, push of a button opens it up. You do have a windshield wiper as well. Um, front seat cushions have armrests. They are on some heavy-duty hardware. Regulators upgraded this hardware, if any of you know the older ones. Uh, that was a little bit uh, flimsy. Uh, you do have a cooler up under the forward seat. Turn around and look at the forward seating on the boat. This boat does have the forward sunshade, or excuse me, it does have the forward sunshade, but it also has the forward sunbed table. Uh, this is removable. You move the table up with a different stanchion, and now you have a table up here, or you remove it completely, and it's just all open. Under each side, you do have compartments that I'll show you here. nice large compartment that can double as another fish box you have a nice large fish box in the floor and I close this put the cushions back and show you your built-in backrest backrest comes up there's no removable backrest you got to put it in the console it bounces around leave it at the house don't leave it at the house these are here they're there they're not you don't have to worry about putting them back or losing them or leaving them somewhere these also go down very easily put down up front when you are hanging out you've got USB charging ports you can plug your phone in hang out up there all day and keep your phone charged all right this particular boat has a taco grand slam 390 outriggers with the pull of the handle and a swing of the handle your outriggers are now pointed out flip this handle down, spin it, your outrigger is going up and down. Everything can be done inside the boat. This adds 
a level of convenience and safety not having to climb up on the gunnel and adjust your outriggers. Uh, another fit and finish thing that regulator does, you'll notice the hose pipe, the rod holders have no screws on top showing everything has a through bolt down here, stop nut on the back of it. Uh, just solid build all the way around for regulator. Come around, show you the nitty gritty, I'm going to show you the bilge. But most boats, you look down in the bilge, it's not in the prettiest place. This one, we've got the swim ladder neatly tucked away on the lid. We've got the Yeti buck, bucket holder designed in here. This is removable if you ever did need to get down in there and work or clean. Uh, the bilge is finished off to a slick finish. It's as pretty as the outside of the boat. All your pumps and filters and valves have labels on them. Uh, you just don't find a bilge that looks like this on most boats. The regulator doesn't just make the outside look pretty. Alright guys, well that's pretty much the Regulator 31. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and we uh, hope to hear from you. If you want to know more information on the Regulator 31 or any regulator, uh, you can reach us online at Greg or Marine Destin or by phone at 850-424-5994. Uh, thanks for watching.